grief is a scary thing. You know, you know, you love this person, you would die for this person, and all of a sudden this person's not here. 30 minutes after Zach passed, I think I was like, God, I'm at the mercy of your feet now. Mm. You got to help me because I'm, I'm lost and he's gone. I said, and I don't know what I'm going to do. It's your birthday, you're one. Okay. A whole year with you. It's been an amazing journey, baby Zach. You don't wanna eat that. I remember calling Karina and I'm like, you are pregnant, right? And she says, yes, I am. And I said, okay, we just wanna make sure. And I knew then that that's, that's what my journey was gonna be, was for him. Even for myself and the other kids, he's what made us survive. But the moment he was born, there was something in life that was a whole different type of life for us. And we had to journey to make sure that I said that there's one thing I got to make sure is that he's going to be able to understand that this is what we fought for. We fought for him to have his dad to have a light in a story that I didn't want him to be a statistic. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sometimes he'll get me when I'm right here. And he'll smack his hands. He'll go right into it. Right into the baby food. Uh, I never saw myself as a mother, but definitely changed my life. And I, I just, I feel like if, you know, if Zach was still here, I would be a lot more help. He would talk about how he couldn't wait for my stomach to be big, like just to hold my stomach and see see our baby grow up. And, oh, he... He was so hesitant, not hesitant, but indecisive of what it was going to be. Very sure it was going to be a girl until after, after he had passed away, um, Erica told me that I guess he was talking uh, my pregnancy and ended up thinking it was going to be a boy. So it was, it was crazy me finding out afterwards, mm. but he would have loved him. I know he would have. <laughs> this friendship that I I, I known from past school, from school, she called me. She was like, Karina, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, but, but Zach, Zach's gone. I was like, what, I'm crying. I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, I was just busting down crying. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, don't say that, don't say that. She was like, I'm sorry, Karina, I saw him get shot. He's, he's not, he's not gonna make it. This hit different because I actually loved Zach, you know? I was close with him. And I spent almost every single day with him. And just to find out that person just gets ripped away from you. You can't ever talk to them. It hurt, yeah. And, and it's just, I don't know, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to me. The whole situation, how it went down and everything. But once, oh, once he came, my precious little blessing. Right when he came out, I was like, man, that's Zach right there. Like, I was like, did he just get reborn? I don't know what, but uh, I, as soon as I seen his face, I was like, man, that's, that's Zach right there. He's starting to, to come around with my features, but he, he definitely, he definitely helped me out with Zach's passing. He definitely did. I'm just glad that he can live, live on through to him, so. You know who I am, Buck Buzz. You know who oh, I am. I've been picking up stuff. Oh, dude, you've been doing a good job. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Buck I think I thank God for him every day. He's been such a blessing in our lives. Oh, it's just amazing how you can look at him and know that how life, pre how precious life is. You kind of have that hope that, that he understands a little bit of something, but then I know I'm not gonna let him forget it.